Thank you very much, President Officer. President Officer, I too would like to congratulate uh, Colin Beattie for securing this important debate. Uh, I'm sure that if COVID-19 uh, wasn't with us, that the celebrations marking such an historic occasion it would have been a joy to behold. Uh, I studied German in high school and took part in a student exchange. Uh, when, when I was 15, the German kids came over to uh, the, the, the Renfrew region of Strathclyde Regional Council as was. And when I was 16, we went over to the Christ Hereford region in West Germany. As well as attending school for three days in the region, we spent the second week in West Berlin uh, and also had a, had a day visit into East Berlin. We had a tour of the Reichstag and to stand in the building looking out the window, seeing the Mauer at the wall, only metres away uh, from this building, uh, only metres away from what used to be the seat uh, of the German parliament was quite remarkable. Now looking over the wall into no man's land and then seeing the other wall uh, on the eastern side uh, was also quite uh, was an image that will stay with me for uh, the rest of my life but also been told that uh, now whether this was true or not but uh, it was a, a, a nice wee story no doubt to be told but also been informed that uh, no doubt there was somebody watching us from the other side uh, because uh, of where we were standing it was just it was akin to being in a in a spy movie but uh, the visit to communist east berlin was uh, one of the most surreal journeys of my life. Uh, we used the, uh, the underground uh, and through passing through uh, the dimly lit stations. Uh, and the stations certainly hadn't seen any, uh, any investment for decades. And it was really kind of like, like a scene from a spy movie. But we were informed of the do's and the don'ts uh, or in East Berlin. Uh, and, and it did seem quite harsh. But that was a, a memory that stayed with me. Uh, and as a 16-year-old boy from Port Glasgow, and I felt a, a genuine sense of sorrow uh, for the people of East Germany, but also one of hope for them. Uh, the politics of the 80s and 90s uh, certainly shaped my life and, and living through the Cold War uh, with the, the daily updates of the West versus the East, uh, always, and certainly always painting a, a picture of oppression and fear about the East. Uh, and when a state takes to shooting its own people as they're trying to escape to get a, a better life, then it's it's no wonder that that picture was actually painted. Uh, and Colin Beatty uh, uh, obviously touched upon the Cold War, and it's, it's actually one of the things that, as, a, as an MSP, when, when I go into schools, uh, and, uh, and the questions are always posed about uh, what, uh, how did you get involved in politics, or what, uh, what stimulated you in terms of your, your political thoughts. When I talk about the Cold War, uh, I feel as if I'm actually giving a history lesson uh, to many younger people now. Uh, which you know, I clearly am, because it was, it was many years ago. But th thankfully, it was many years ago, and things have moved on. But the, I remember watching the, the images on TV of the, of the rallies leading up to the night that the wall came down, and, uh, and genuinely shedding a, a tear uh, of joy. Uh, even then, I knew uh, it was never going to be easy reconnecting with 18 million people overnight, uh, and there were still going to be many challenges ahead. However, if any country could do it, it was going to be the former West Germany, uh, but also once again becoming that unified German nation at, at university. Uh, I studied in the Fachhochschule in Dortmund and, and I thoroughly enjoyed the experience, but certainly one of the things that I really uh, took about my time there in 1995 was actually talking to German students about how they felt reunification uh, has developed and also the, the thoughts about the future. Uh, and it's certainly the, the one of the things that really struck me was the, uh, the hope that the people from the western part of Germany actually had about the east uh, and, and their aspirations for the people from the east. Absolutely. Edward Mountain. Uh, thank you, Presiding Officer. And I'm sorry I can't participate in all of this very interesting debate, but I was in Germany in 1990 when the wall came down. I was one of those soldiers based out there. And you talk about tears of joy. Would you accept that it was quite a moving experience having been on the front line, as it were, of the Cold War, to open up the gates of our barracks to welcome in East Germans and to look after them until their country could take them back after the wall had come down. And will you pay tribute, as I often do, to all of my fellow soldiers for the absolute uh, welcome that was given to these people uh, in the, probably the most difficult times they faced? Stuart McMillan. I uh, absolutely agree with Edward Mountain and, and I genuinely do pay tribute uh, to the soldiers that, who were involved. 
but I think also to everyone who was involved at the time to try to make what clearly was going to be a, a momentous uh, activity uh, in world history, to try to make it as, uh, as, uh, as easy as possible uh, in terms of that transition. Um, signing off, sir, uh, I, I, I genuinely admire what Germany has undertaken and their actions in recent years, accepting over one million refugees I think it's a lesson for all governments and also humanitarianism. And, and after uni reunification, I remember fretting. Uh, some people were actually fretting about uh, actually the reunification uh, and because of history. Uh, but I always took the position, um, I mean, even as a 16-year-old boy uh, and right through uh, to now, I always took that position that, that reunification was not about looking back and going back. It was about, it was about bringing people together and to use certainly a phrase from today's politics, it was about building back better. Germany did that, and I generally am proud of what uh, the German people have achieved. So in conclusion, I think the second half of Colin Beattie's motion is absolutely accurate and also indicates the, the interdependencies of the global economy and with every nation facing COVID-19 and how we actually all act uh, together to try to deal with COVID-19 is extremely important and also uh, I, uh, I do want to pay tribute to, to Germany's activities in that. So uh, with that, uh, just one very, very brief point, if you'll allow me, presenting officer. Uh, one of the Berlin stickers in my pipe box uh, states, Berlin ist ganz toll. Berlin is really great. Uh, but actually, I believe Deutschland is ganz toll. So well done, Germany, for delivering hope, ambition, and also security for what you've achieved post the fall of the wall and also with reunification.